Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I was actually going to do a video today, but it's occurred to me, what makes a good pub lunch? I think a good pub lunch is one of life's little pleasures, especially in England, which is very traditional. You know, especially when you've been out on a walk or exploring somewhere and end it off with a nice lunch with a glass of the good stuff. It's really nice. I've been going on about pub lunches in recent videos quite a lot actually, so I thought it would be quite interesting to quickly talk why pub lunches are so good. I have noticed though that I don't see ploughmans on the menu anymore. I heard something that they, that's sort of been cancelled. Uh, why? I don't know. Uh, can someone shed any light on that? Uh, but at the moment we're in Wharton on the Hill by the Blue Ball. Just had a nice little lunch in there. Um, and it's very nice, very nice indeed. But there's loads of clips I could show you. <laughs> Must be now in pubs, um, eating away, having some good food, sometimes some healthy food, sometimes just burgers. But it's nice when you go to a place where the burgers and the meat is locally sourced, uh, which is really nice. So, uh, it's got a smile from a nice lady, wondering what the hell I'm doing, but she was sweet. <laughs> Hello. Um, so yeah, yeah, the Blue Boar, I haven't been here since about 1989, I think it was, when I was doing some amateur dramatics at the, with the gauge players at the Rideau Hall just down there. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it, it's quite interesting, quite interesting. But, uh, so yeah, what makes a good pub lunch? Do you enjoy a good pub lunch? Do you like to go out into the countryside and find a good old uh, village pub for a Sunday roast? I love it, absolutely love it. So much so, I'm going to throw in a little compilation of us in pub lunches in various establishments over the years from about 2008 onwards. Should be fun. Let's go. in Canterbury. Aren't you happy now you've got your glass of wine, girls? Cheers. I might have the... Oh, the diabolical. I'm going to have the diabolical pizza. With, um... Pepperoni. I'm going to have a dirty burger. They call it a dirty burger. It's very nice. So here we are in the Pheasant Inn along the A25. The last time I was here was about 2015. I was doing a round uh, circular walk from Betchworth through Buckland back down to Betchworth again. So what are you eating today? I'm going to have beef, streaks, beef streaks in a sort of salad. It's really nice and cheers. Very nice Paul, very, yeah. very nice. I have never in my life of doing videos or ever done a picture of food, but that looks lovely. That really does look lovely. Okay, there's a little bit of a PS on our uh, vlog today. I'm at the, the plough. I've been uh, looking to do an investigation, but come in. Because look who else we have here. Yeah. Look at that, it's Goodness Sean, me. Joe and Gary. Goodness me. We're what what very earth. good friends. What on earth. What on earth. Cheers. 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 Cheers to coffee, but you have got beer. Have got beer. <laughs> so there you go. Just a short video about why I love pub lunches. Um, I don't think I think I said before. There's no such thing as a bad pub lunch. Everyone loves them. Everybody loves them. You know, um, it's a great way of socialising. I'm out on my own today. Um, uh, this is uh, March 2022. But um, I love it. Please let me know your thoughts on pub lunches. Pub lunches. Can't get the words out now. And I didn't even take you only over there to a medieval enclosure, but that's for another time. If you like, please like, subscribe, please leave a comment about pub lunches, and we'll see you next time. Take care.